How to get smoke smell out of leather, detail guide. Is your leather item smelling of smoke? It can be a real challenge to get the smoke smell out. But you don't have to panic. In this video, we'll guide you on how to get smoke smell out of leather using different methods. But first, what are the tools and materials you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get rid of that awful smell. Get rid of it! The following are the different methods of getting smoke smell out of your leather item. Baking soda. First, brush off any visible dirt or dust from the leather with a soft bristled brush. Then, wipe the leather item with a damp cloth to remove any grime or stains. Sprinkle a generous amount of baking soda onto the leather. Make sure to cover all affected areas. Use your fingers to gently rub the baking soda into the leather's surface. Ensure it reaches all the nooks and crannies. Let the baking soda sit on the leather for several hours or even overnight. This will give it enough time to absorb the smoke odor. Use a clean, dry cloth or a soft bristled brush to gently remove the baking soda. Then, vacuum the leather to remove any remaining baking soda particles. If the smoke smell is still lingering, you may need to repeat the process a few times until the odor is completely gone. Additional tips You can also try placing the leather in a sealed plastic bag with baking soda for a day or two. The baking soda will absorb the smoke smell even more effectively in this way. If the smoke smell is stubborn, try using a leather cleaner and conditioner in addition to the baking soda. Make sure to test any product or substance you'll use on a small, inconspicuous area of the leather first. This way, you can confirm that the product won't cause any damage or discoloration. Note that this instruction applies to all other methods discussed in this video. White vinegar. We generally don't recommend using white vinegar to remove smoke smell from leather even though it works. This is because you could easily discolor or damage the leather item if certain precautions aren't taken. Here are things to be aware of before using this method. 1. Use only white vinegar that comes with an acidic content of 5%. Furthermore, don't forget to dilute it before using it on leather. 2. Avoid using any other type of vinegar as they'll definitely discolor your leather item. 3. Don't use it on old or vintage leather. The risk of discoloration is simply too high to make it worthwhile. 4. Make sure you clean up every residue of the white residue solution. If you fail to do this, the acidic content of the residue will discolor your leather over time. Now that you know what to avoid, here's how to get smoke smell out of leather with white vinegar. Mix equal parts white vinegar and water in a bowl or spray bottle. Dip a clean cloth in the solution and wring out any excess liquid. Then, gently wipe down the leather. Make sure to cover all the affected areas. For deeper cleaning, use a soft bristle brush to work the solution into the leather. Allow the vinegar solution to sit on the leather for a few hours or even overnight. This will give it enough time to penetrate the leather and neutralize the smoke odor. After the vinegar solution has had enough time to work its magic, wipe the leather down with a clean, damp cloth. Doing this will remove any residual vinegar. Then, let the leather air dry in a well-ventilated area. Avoid using heat or direct sunlight, which can damage the leather. Do this a few times to completely get rid of the smoke odor if you still smell it. Additional Tips If the smoke odor is particularly stubborn, add a few drops of essential oil to the vinegar solution. This will help mask the odor. Some good options include lavender, peppermint, or lemon. After cleaning the leather with vinegar, apply a good leather conditioner. This will help keep it soft and supple. Look for a conditioner that's specifically formulated for your type of leather. Activated Charcoal Use activated charcoal in either powder or granule form rather than in larger solid blocks. The reason for this is that activated charcoal works by absorbing impurities and odors onto its surface. 
The more surface area the charcoal has, the more effective it will be in absorbing and trapping these unwanted odors. Powdered or granulated activated charcoal has a larger surface area per volume than larger blocks of activated charcoal. Therefore, it is more effective for odor elimination. Next, place the charcoal in a bowl or container that won't leak or spill. You can also purchase activated charcoal in prepackaged bags. These are often easier to use and less messy. Place the bowl of activated charcoal or the prepackaged bags inside a sealed plastic bag with the smoke affected leather. You can also place the leather in the bag and then sprinkle or distribute the activated charcoal on top of the leather. This method is ideal for small leather items that can fit into a plastic bag. Seal the plastic bag and let it sit for at least 24 to 48 hours. The activated charcoal will absorb the smoke odor from the leather. After the charcoal has absorbed the smoke odor, remove the leather from the plastic bag. Then, remove any residual activated charcoal using a soft bristle brush or vacuum cleaner. You can repeat the steps until you get rid of the smell. Additional Tips Activated charcoal is a highly effective odor absorber. However, it can be messy to work with. So, it's advisable to use gloves. Furthermore, consider laying down newspaper or a drop cloth to avoid getting charcoal powder on other surfaces. You can reuse activated charcoal by recharging it. Simply place the activated charcoal in direct sunlight for a few hours to release the absorbed odors. Once the charcoal has been recharged, you can use it again. Avoid using activated charcoal on light-colored leather or leather that's susceptible to staining. Activated charcoal can leave dark marks or residue on some types of leather. Therefore, test it on a small, inconspicuous area first. Leather Cleaners Choose a cleaner that's specifically designed for the type of leather you're working with. Different types of leather require different cleaning agents. Choosing the wrong cleaner can damage or discolor your leather. Before applying the cleaner to the entire surface of the leather, test it on a small, inconspicuous area. This will ensure that it won't cause any discoloration or damage to the leather. Apply the cleaner to the leather using a soft, clean cloth. Rub the cleaner into the leather in a circular motion. Make sure to cover all affected areas. Let the cleaner sit on the leather for the amount of time specified by the manufacturer. This will allow the cleaner to penetrate the leather and break down any smoke odor. After the cleaner has had time to work, use a clean cloth to wipe away any excess cleaner from the leather. Be sure to remove all of the leather cleaner. The residue can attract dirt and cause damage to the leather. After cleaning the leather, condition it to restore moisture. This will protect it from future damage. Therefore, apply a leather conditioner that's formulated for your type of leather. Make sure you follow the manufacturer's instructions for use. If the smoke odor is particularly strong, you may need to repeat the cleaning process a few times until the odor is completely gone. Additional Tips For deeper cleaning, use a soft bristle brush to work the cleaner into the leather. Be gentle and avoid scrubbing too hard. Doing so can damage the leather. Avoid using harsh chemicals or cleaning agents on leather. These can damage the leather and cause discoloration. Air fresheners Air fresheners can be a quick and easy way to temporarily mask smoke odor in leather. Choose an air freshener that's specifically formulated to eliminate smoke odor. Look for products that contain odor neutralizing agents. Examples of these agents are activated charcoal, baking soda, or essential oils. Spray the air freshener directly onto the leather or a clean cloth. Then, wipe the leather down with the cloth. Be sure to cover all affected areas. Let the air freshener sit on the leather for a few minutes. This will allow it to penetrate and mask any smoke odor. After the air freshener has had time to work, use a clean cloth to wipe away any excess product. Additional Tips Air fresheners are a temporary solution and won't completely eliminate smoke odor from leather. 
For a more effective solution, consider using one of the other methods mentioned earlier. Avoid using air fresheners that contain harsh chemicals. They can damage the leather over time. Look for products that are specifically designed for use on leather. Essential oils. Choose an essential oil that has natural deodorizing properties. Great examples are lavender, tea tree, eucalyptus, and peppermint. You can also use a blend of different oils if you prefer. Essential oils are very concentrated. Therefore, you need to dilute them before using them on leather. Mix a few drops of essential oil with carrier oil, such as coconut oil, olive oil, or jojoba oil. Apply the oil mixture to the leather using a clean cloth. Be sure to cover all affected areas. Allow the oil mixture to sit on the leather for a few hours or overnight if possible. This will give the essential oils time to penetrate and neutralize any smoke odor. After the oil mixture has had time to work, use a clean cloth to wipe away any excess oil from the leather. Additional Tips Essential oils can also be used in a diffuser to help freshen the air and eliminate smoke odor. Some essential oils, such as citrus oils, can cause photosensitivity when exposed to sunlight, so it's best to avoid using them on leather that will be exposed to direct sunlight. Coffee Grounds You will need enough coffee grounds to cover the entire surface of the leather item. Freshly ground coffee works best for this method. Spread the coffee grounds over the surface of the leather item. Make sure to cover all affected areas. Gently rub the coffee grounds into the leather with your hands. Allow the coffee grounds to sit on the leather for at least a few hours. You can leave it overnight if possible. The coffee grounds will absorb the smoke odor from the leather. Once the coffee grounds have had time to work, use a vacuum cleaner to remove them. Be sure to use a soft brush attachment to avoid scratching the leather. After vacuuming the coffee grounds, use a clean, damp cloth to wipe the leather item. This will help remove any remaining coffee grounds and leave the leather looking clean and fresh. Additional Tips You can use coffee grounds to remove smoke odor from a variety of leather items, including jackets, shoes, and handbags. Be sure to use fresh coffee grounds for the best results. Used coffee grounds may not be as effective at absorbing odors. Ozone Generator An ozone generator is a powerful tool that can effectively eliminate smoke odor from leather. It's important to choose an ozone generator that is appropriate for the item and area you will be treating. Look for a generator that is designed for home use and has a high ozone output. To treat the leather item with ozone, you will need to place it in a sealed container. You can use a plastic bag or a bin with a tight-fitting lid. This will ensure that the ozone is concentrated on the leather and doesn't escape into the surrounding area. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for setting up the ozone generator. This may involve plugging it in, adjusting the output level, and setting a timer. The length of time that you need to run the ozone generator will depend on the size of the container and the strength of the generator. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for recommended run times. After running the ozone generator, let the container and the leather item air out for several hours. This will help dissipate any remaining ozone. It will also prevent any potential health risks from inhaling high concentrations of ozone. Additional Tips Be sure to follow all safety instructions when using an ozone generator. High concentrations of ozone can be harmful to human health, so it is important to take appropriate precautions. Ozone can be effective at removing smoke odor from a variety of leather items, but it may not be suitable for all types of leather. Check the manufacturer's recommendations before using an ozone generator on your leather item. Professional Cleaning If all else fails, you can always opt for professional cleaning. Professional cleaners have the knowledge and experience to effectively remove smoke smell from leather items using specialized techniques. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If so, please like, share, and comment to let me know what you thought. Your feedback is important to me. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.